Earlier, I spoke with Dr. Peter Chin Hong, infectious disease specialist at UCSF, to get his take on the Moderna vaccine being more effective against the Delta variant. Doctor, first, what should people know about this study uh, and why one vaccine might be more effective against the Delta variant than others? Well, <clears throat> what this study shows is basically that there may be a, a better immunologic uh, response with uh, Moderna versus Pfizer, but again, that's really um, you know slicing and dicing into fine criterion. In my opinion, both of them are fantastic vaccines. We really need to see this study in a larger group of people, and we also need to see this study translate more convincingly in the outcomes we care about, which is serious disease. So it leads me to my next question. How concerned should people be if they didn't get the Moderna vaccine? Should we look for approval for booster shots so people get better protected? No, not at all. Um, I'm, I'm pretty happy. I got myself uh, Pfizer uh, originally. I'm extremely happy with that uh, vaccine series. I'm not going to run out and get Moderna. And again, when you look at the difference between the two in terms of percentage, um, different, you know, the absolute difference, sorry, rather than percentage difference, it actually isn't uh, that clinically significant. And again, the clinical, clinically significant outcomes that I most care about is really how does it affect people with disease, particularly serious disease in the hospital. And this study doesn't really convince me uh, to change my mind in that regard. So estimates are 20, 30 percent of San Francisco's population still unvaccinated. All our kids younger than 12, they can't be vaccinated. Are we still even considering getting to herd immunity, especially because of the Delta variant? So I think some people have dispensed with the term herd immunity, but I still think it's a good concept, which is how much of our population needs to really be immune before we can just manage sporadic outbreaks, which won't probably go away. And with Delta, what it taught us is that a lot more of us need to be immune to really stop the chain of transmission. With Delta, it's so infectious that, you know, you need to have many more people immunized because the virus is again going jumping from one receptor to another person to another person to another person. And if they're enough clusters of these people, even though the overall population is decently vaccinated, that cluster will will def will be a, a sort of like a repository of enough virus to then infect a lot of other people, including vaccinated people. Right. Dr. Peter Chin Hong, great to talk to you. Thank you. Thanks so much, Alan. And the doctor says San Francisco's proof of vaccine requirement, along with the indoor mask mandates, will go a long way to boost people's confidence and keep the economy going. But ultimately, it is the unvaccinated population that the virus will keep targeting.